Okay, so the other day we started bivariate data and we looked at um, drawing up scatter plots. So we've got our bivariate data where we were putting our response variable on the y-axis and our explanatory. And then what we were doing, so we had an example, so I was often using this one because it has to be numerical. So we had maybe weight and height. Okay, and then we, we ended up with a scatter plot, which was all these dots, and the dots represented, you know, how many data you'd collected. Okay, so now we, so this is what we've got a scatter plot. So we, this is a way of displaying data, the scatter plot, and now we need to interpret what the scatter plot tells us. So there's these three things that we're going to do. So when they say describe, the, they might say describe the association. So that means, so we're talking about weight and height and are they associated, okay? So when they say describe the scatter plot, they might, or they might say describe the association here, we're first gonna talk about the form. Now the form is the way the dots are going. Now, if you look here, say for my little example, you can see that the dots are following sort of a straight line pattern. So when you follow a straight line pattern, we call that linear. All right, if sometimes we may get a, um, a scatter plot, so we've got the RV and the EV, we might get the scatter plot doing something like this. So we'll see the dots. Now, they're not, it's not totally random there, is it? So can you see that there's like a, a pattern there? So, but it's not a straight line pattern. So when you see a pattern, but it's not a straight line, like following a straight line, we say it's non-linear. So we're not saying there's we're not saying there's no association. We're just saying that it's not a not a linear one because we often deal with linear, and um, that's what we're going to be doing. And when you go into year twelve, we'll you know we do a bit more extra where we prove that it is linear. There's a few tests and things. All right, so that's the first thing we'll discuss. So we discuss whether it's linear or non-linear. Or it might not be associated at all. So if it was all random, you'll just say, no, nah, there's nothing. Okay, the next thing is we're going to talk about direction. So obviously, we mainly, it's only we're going to, once we talk about if it's linear, we will say the direction. So what do you reckon now? The options there for direction are positive or negative. Up here on my example up here, what one do you think that one is? Why are you saying it's positive? You're correct. Why are we saying it's positive? Because it's going oh, up. up. What does that mean when it goes up? It has a positive... We did it last, just at the end of last week, a positive gradi gradient. Yeah? And what? remember that? So remember when we had that, that straight line? So which one was the gradient value? The, the B? Good. So this one is a positive graph all right and so if you had a negative one it would be going downwards and then the last thing we're going to comment on is the strength so if your dots end up being very close together like following a straight line see how I've drawn that green line and they're all close to that green line we would call that a strong um, relationship so if you look here um, say for these little examples, I've given you a few examples. So say along here, this, this first one, it has no relationship because see how it's all random, this one here. But if you look here, um, we would say, if you look at this bottom one here, the dots are very close. So that one is a strong, a strong relationship. If you look at this one, if I drew a straight line in here, this one is, they're all, they are going downwards, but it's very scattered out. So this one would be considered a weak one. Okay, and then the one over here is an example. That's an example of a moderate one. 
Okay, if we were just talking about the direction, just of these bottom ones, which direction is this first one? Negative. The, yeah, good. So this one we're saying is negative. What about the next one positive. next to it? Yeah, we would say that's positive. positive. And I would probably think that that, that one's either a weak or moderate. We'll just leave it there. And then the one we've labelled weak, <coughs> what negative. negative, good. And the one we've labelled strong, positive, positive. Really good. Positive. So underneath it, you can see there's this little R value there. Um, and we'll learn about that uh, probably soon. So that R value is called, the name of it, is called Pearson's Correlation Coefficient. So sometimes they might just say the correlation coefficient. Pearson, obviously the mathematician that came up with it. So it's an R value. And it's like a ranking so that we say if you have an R value between here and here, we're going to say it's weak between a certain number and number and that. So obviously if you have a negative one R value, can you see you are a perfect negative relationship? See how those dots all went exactly um, in a row? So that one is a perfect negative. And if you get a pot, per, an R of one, it means it's a perfect positive. So your R values are going to be all somewhere between negative 1 and positive 1. And obviously, if you've got 0, you've got no relationship. So that's the turnover between a positive and a negative. All right. So we'll learn about that a bit later. So, do, um, But that's just to introduce it. All right, so let's have a look at this one. So first of all, we're doing some more practice. It says classify each of the following scatter plots as ex exhibiting either a positive or negative or no association. So you've got three options here. All right, looking at this first one, positive. Um, you've got your dots. What do you think that one is? Positive. Yeah, I would say that one's positive too. Now, what about this second one, this B? No yeah, good work. Yeah. They're very, it's no, yeah, it would have an R value of zero. So we call that no association or no relationship. So the word relationship could be used or association. You know how we said between weight and height? We're just saying either the relationship between them, like how are they affecting each other, or we might say the word association. Okay, what about C? Negative. Good, negative. And what about D? Probably no yeah, I would be happy with, I'd say no association. So when you ha are given, you know, nothing but the scatter plot, you, we generally can get away with saying it appears because if it pretty much appears to you to be no association, that's okay. All right, so this next one, it says classify the form of the association. So remember, <coughs> form is either linear or nonlinear. Non okay, so let's go through this one. The first one, what do we think it is? Good, linear. Okay, and the second one, now have a look, it's doing that, it's got a curve. So what do you think? Good, nonlinear. Okay, um, what about this one, C? It's got a curve like that. Non Good, <coughs> nonlinear. And what about this one? Linear. Good, yeah. linear. Sometimes the curvy ones, like say in B, can, that one was very curved, but sometimes they can look slightly curved or you may think it looks straight. So if you've given no other information to know, you get away with saying appears. So if you are to you, you go oh, it appears to be nonlinear because there's a curve, then you're justifying your answer. Okay, so don't stress. All right, so now it's classify these ones as either strong, moderate, or weak. What do you reckon the first one is? So I'd say it's. Yeah, I would probably say that was weak, that one. There's a lot of sort of spreading out. What about the next one, B? Yeah, we'll go with strong. 
What about this one? Moderate. Yeah, I'd say moderate. Strong. And this one, yeah. Strong. 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 Good. All right. <coughs> awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put all those facts sure. together and we're just going to write a little description. So when it says describe the association in each of this scatter plot, so let's have a first have a think about it. What um what form do you think this first one is? What do you think the form is? Negative. The form is either linear or nonlinear. Non so what do you think that one? Linear. Yeah, we'll go with linear. Okay, what do you think the direction is? Negative. Yeah, negative. I'm just gonna write that for a second. And what about the strength? Strong. Yeah. Uh, this one, I probably go with someone. I think someone said moderate. Okay, so when you're asked to describe the association, so we'll just write the scatter plot shows a um, what do we say? A moderate. negative linear relationship so as long as you write the um or association sorry i might even write that i might write the word oh sorry yeah what am i doing Rel um association Okay, so, and what about the next one? So if we think about the form, what do we reckon the form is? Yeah, linear. linear, good. What about the direction? Positive. Uh, and what do we think about the um, strength? Strong. Yeah, it'll be strong. So, the scatter plot shows a strong positive linear association okay